Welcome to the third and final hour of the Uprising on a Thursday. Today is a very important day. It's the 16th of June. Um, and today we're spending time with a maverick talent uh, to ever uh, have been produced in this country. Uh, with the legendary Leleti Kumalo. And today marks 30 years uh, since Kwabo Konage is Sarafina. So we're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart, uh, talk uh, with the sister Leleti. Agas Tazele, uh, from whence it all began, uh, to where uh, Jenga Manje uh, she is, and also the impact that she's had in the youth. This is the most uh, important calendar event in the history of South Africa and the emancipation of black people of this country. It started with the uprising of June uh, 16, 1976. It was then captured in a movie uh, that is well-renowned, Sarafina. And the person that starred as Sarafina 30 years ago is Leleti Kumalo, joining us today on The Uprising. Maggie, <laughs> welcome to Gaga CFM. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, <laughs> Should I say X or what? Am I allowed? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Gone are the days. I know, I know, because we've done this yes, together. together yes, together, yes. <laughs> it's awesome. I, I don't know where to begin. You're such an impactful person, a, a media personality, an actress, uh, but also your role that has so much meaning here in this country is your role as Sarafina. One that you've carried even outside of our borders, uh, you lent it to uh, America and, and the rest of the world for four years touring until Uzwe, Uzwe is shooter, and now it's been 30 years. Tell me, Skalek Kalin, how were you casted for the role? Of Felix, again, thank you for having me. Um, you, you said legendary. What is a legend? I've always wanted to, to know. <laughs> what is a legend? A, a legend is a person like yourself who has um, show, who subscribes to high standards of excellence, oh, who has displayed oh, excellence no. in many productions on stage and also in uh, television, who still continues till this day, uh, who's broken all the boundaries and conquered all frontiers. Who's oh, <laughs> revered and respected in the industry by the young and old alike. Thank that you. is a legend. Okay. That you I get are. It. Wow, I'm humbled. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, Felix, um, it started, um, let me see, it was, I was 16 years old. Um, we were auditioned to come mm -hmm. and do um, Isarafina, the stage production. Mm -hmm. We were so excited. Um, I think we were 16, 17, um, Sespelele. Uh, from KZN, and what excited us was that we're going to Joburg. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing more, more. Being in the production with <laughs> you know, that was too much for us, you yes. know. I remember our parents were like, but what's going to happen with, with the Skole and everything? Yeah. And Uba Bungema said, no, 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 that is going to, to be taken care of, Bazofunda on, 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 uh, on their breaks, and, 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 mm. but it's going to be taken care of. Yeah. There we go. We went to Joburg. It started. We rehearsed for, I think, for seven, eight months. And they cooked us, eh? They mm. cooked us. Yeah. And then um, we started at Market Theatre um, for eight weeks. And then after that, we went to, to New York. We were supposed to be there for three weeks or something. Mm -hmm. And then it, the show got extended for another month. And then we stayed for two years. So you were meant to go there for a couple of weeks. You ended up staying for two years. Listen, uh, uh, Felix, it, this, this is Broadway, Broadway we're talking about. It, yes. You know, you cannot just come from South Africa and say you're going on Broadway for two years. No, it's impossible. Like on on going, going non-stop. Non-stop. Non -stop. You understand, Usarafina, myself, didn't have, didn't have e understudy because we're going there for three weeks. You understand? So there was no understudy. There was no need for so understudy. Not, you can't miss a show. No. <laughs> no. Remember, I, was on, I ended up being on stage for two years. I ended up being on stage for four years. 
Wait, Wait, hang on. So now you're in New York and Broadway for two years, yes. right? With no understudy. With, no. with you doing this show yes. all the time. Yes. So now, and then the four years? And then the four years, two years on Broadway and then two years on tour. And they kept on going home, taking breaks, mm. because Pelamina, there was no understudy. They couldn't oh, find the understudy. So I had to, this uh, person who's like, Remember, we can't find an understudy. Oh, you must, shame. you must just be okay with that. Wait, hang on. So now, could you draw a distinction between Leleti Kumalo and Sarafina, having acted Sarafina for four years now? I'm sure she became a part of you. Of course. Yeah. I feel like I was seven. I was sixteen, seventeen years mm. old. Do you understand? Nami, I ended up leaving this role. and I ended up being a mazu Leleti. Because in Kulele, we let industry in Kulele Gule role. Understand? Isarafina Pella introduced me globally and to the industry. So at some stage, I was, it was difficult to, to know. Because I was a little bit of 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 a I have to be honest. I was just having fun. You understand? I remember my mm -hmm. Tony Awards mm -hmm. and Aswatolanga and our producers were not okay with that. Tina, it was just okay. We did win. So what? You know, it don't later would important Kangaganani e Tony Award. So tell me now, from the tender age of 16 years, um, did a role of Sarafina and Sarafina on stage somewhat conscientize you to be politically aware at a, a very young age? Felix, I, I, I politics, I think, mas, masuga going to New York, it, it, was, it became part of our DNA, you mm. understand? We couldn't ex, uh, exclude ourselves from saying, we don't know politics, what is politics? It was in us, you know, it was part of, the training that we got, yeah. it was instilled in us. You understand? Sonja, it was, politics was part of us. <laughs> now, now, I'm interested in the part now, also Sugala, who's a Broadway for two years, and you're touring at Sarafina the world over, and then you come back with the Lagamash. Did it don not go back to the family? We're a superstar. <laughs> when, when you grow up, it is very important in the local Swangaikai. We understand because after Isarafina, after the tour, after the Broadway, we were supposed to be the untouchables. We understand that we were supposed to be the people saying, Who are you guys? Do you know who we are? We understand, but never. And I'm saying that it is very important in the local Swangaikaya because if Ukuliswang and in the that takes over. I see. We understand. Up until today, mm -hmm. I respect who am I. And I respect I respect people out there because I wouldn't be who am I today without people. Just now I called you a legend and you're like, no, but I'm not a legend. <laughs> it goes to show I'm a values arco Ogutianjan. Now if you've become this person, now it's been four years, now you're back at home, and now suddenly there's a an on-screen adaptation. How was the transition like oh. from stage to now on screen? <laughs> Felix Lalela. At some point, I was, I was a bit disappointed after, after a, a theatre version. Mm -hmm. During the, 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 the tour, I think the producer came to me, the director came to me, Dara Ruot, and said, listen, they want to do this um, um, film version of it, mm -hmm. and they want you to come and audition. No way. Telling you. After four years of I'm doing telling this you, I, every I just day. couldn't understand that one, Felix. I mm. couldn't understand. I was a bit disappointed, but again, he said to me, Listen, I know you can pull it off. Just prove them wrong. I've been telling them, but they're not sure. Remember, what I'm Americans yes. are looking to do this, this, this part. You understand? So now, but they were under pressure. 
They wanted to sell the movie with a face that is known out there. You understand? I see. So I said to myself, okay, it's fine, Daryl. I'm going to do auditions. When we got home, and then I think we stayed for a month or two, and then I had to, to do my auditions for Isarafina for the film. Went for auditions. I passed the auditions. And, and then there was this American mega superstar starring alongside you, Hoopy Goldberg. <laughs> How was that like for you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't take me back. Our first day, mm. it got cancelled. What? Our first day on set, it got cancelled. Because I couldn't pull it off. Oh, shame. Yo, Felix. I was so <laughs> starstruck. Listen. Yes, I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that and she called me, Whoopi, yeah. called me and sat me down. Listen, what is going on? I was like, listen, I'm, I'm, I don't know what's happening. I can't do anything. I'm, I'm nervous. And she said, shame. You understand? She said, no, I understand. I understand. I'm going to speak to the producers. We can cancel this day. I understand it's your first day on set. Yeah. And it was my first day on set. You still keep in touch? No, no, no. But, no. but did you de develop a friendship? Oh, yes, a beautiful one. Oh, Lovely. that woman is, is just a beautiful woman, a beautiful mother. Mm. You know, I was so blessed to work with people that I can say they, they made an impact, mm. you know, during those times. Yeah. And I took them as my mother. Now they acted like my mother. I understand. Yes. Sonja, it wasn't like I'm all, al I'm all alone in, 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 in this industry. A question I want to ask. Did, did Sarafina rob you of your youth? Did. Tell me more. It did. Remember I said to you at some stage, Konala, I, I wasn't sure who am I. Yakumuluti, kwafanelengi kule quickly. And in this industry, you have to be you, 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 you can't say, no, I'm still new in this industry. You have to go quickly in this industry. So it did drop me my, my youth, mm. understand? But Felix, I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining. Mm. I was enjoying myself. The kids of today don't know much about apartheid. They grew up in this new dispensation. What does June 16 mean for you? And what does freedom mean for you? Is this freedom? It is freedom. It is freedom. It is freedom. Um, I had an interview earlier, and they asked me, Uguti, what do you say to the youth of today? <laughs> about freedom, about where they are, about where we are. Mm -hmm. I said to them, listen, we mustn't make a mistake of forcing a youth about this freedom, Abangayas, mm. about where they are today because of what happened. But Tina, our role is to tell them where we come from, and they should respect this, this time where they are. They should respect Uguti. People died for them to be where they are, to be at school with white people, to to have a, a white mate, a schoolmate, they should respect that because a lot of people died. But we shouldn't force them and say, you have to be a, politi a, 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 a politician because of, of our history. No, we they, should they teach them. They just need to be them. aware of the sacrifices for them that to was achieve done. this equality. Exactly. Skaga CFM in the morning. This is the uprising, having a heart-to-heart -heart with Lele Tukumalo, talking about Sarafina and June 16. Now, the question regarding Funuk is, uh, the, the, the conversations you had with the portrait of Nelson Mandela in the movie, uh, like the, the line, make me numb, Nelson. Do you still remember some of the lines <laughs> and some of the conversations from the movie? Why I do, Felix, <laughs> I lived, you know, I lived the theater production and the, 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 the movie. At some stage, Ben Pupa, Ben Pupa, he, 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 he,
I understand. Sonja, I lived in Isarafina. It, it, it was in me. Tell me about that. It was such an, such an impactful moment. Each time you would have a conversation with the portrait. Tell me about that. You know what helped me, Uguti? You know, doing the, the, the show for the longest time, I, it, it ended up in, it, it was part of me, Felix. Mm. By the time Yogwenza in movie, it, it was the second nature, you understand? Yeah. So it was like going to another level, but same thing. And it wasn't a big deal. The big deal was that I have to adapt from stage to the big screen. That is not easy at all. It's, it's never easy for an actor, you understand? Because they keep on telling you, you know, okay, turn it down a bit, just a bit, a bit up. So it's never easy. Which one is harder? Because I would think stage is harder because stage they is harder. what it takes. Stage is harder. Mm. You know, when you're an actor and ukale a stage, I get, you, can, you can pull off everything. Yeah, yeah. Do you think the youth of today don't understand the significance of June 16? Are they squandering this freedom that was uh, so hard fought for? Again, I'm going to go back. I don't want to blame the youth of today. They, they don't have a full knowledge of this history, you understand? Mm -hmm. Hence, each and every generation is, uh, when it comes to Isarafina Gemanj, each and every generation is Tatang in Lilayai, Isarafina. They are 2000, Benz are memes, understand? And Kukona Enya, each generation Gemanj, Enja, and Bafigela Gion Isarafina. I was invited today. I was calling saying, and they nine, they doing grade three. Mm. And I was invited to go and watch Sarafina, the dance. You know, it was heartwarming. And this thing keeps on going. And I remember, um, I said, this day, June 16, should be named Sarafina Day. Correct. <laughs> So, so you, 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 you feel you guys did enough to conscientize the country uh, and also educate other countries about what happened in this country you know, on that day? That's what we were doing. Hmm. Tina, we were talking about our history and it's not like we wanted Isarafina to stay forever, to be known forever. We we're talking about what is happening in our country, you understand? Hmm. And that it's, it's a blessing Uti, till today Isarafina is being talked about all over the world. Even our generations are figuring out. Yeah. So I've got a couple of, couple of comments here from Facebook. Uh, this one is from Zandile Masondo. Come on, Nelson. Why can't I be a star? What does a star do? Nothing. Look at the camera. Flash. And this is one of the most memorable lines, Gasarafina. Look at her today. She's a star and looks at the camera every day. Dreams do come true. We love you, Mama. Oh, it's true. What does yeah. a star do? A star, a star, a star. You look at the flash. You look, look at the camera, yeah. flash, smile at the camera, yeah. and do your work. That's it. You know, <laughs> that's what a star do does. I've got another one from, <laughs> from Tande Gasvia. I'd like to know, Guti, Unetem Bangen Jayanam Sanje, Nomage, is Potile, as Abandabatala, Abasluel. I spoke Ang. Maybe we should be blaming us, ourselves. You understand? Guti, as Banige Zanga, in knowledge enough for them to understand this history. Do you feel that your purpose was to act in these roles uh, are high impactful, like the one about HIV yes, yes. and now the one about politics? So if you had to choose between yesterday and Sarafina, which one would you choose and why? Yesterday? yesterday. Why? Because yesterday, it was me giving back to the women. Abasemakai. Yeah. Aban Besfazan Abasemakai, Bashupega. And no one is aware of that. So that was my giving back to them. Another very controversial one. Don't flinch. You're not controversial, Jebesel. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you cannot, cannot give a beat. You have to answer me at the same, same time without, without missing, missing a beat. <laughs> that that wrote, wrote, wrote or versus Mongen When it comes to what? Um, in your life, impact. Who would you say 
you give your a card to? Woo! <laughs> Both. Both? Yeah. If you had to narrow it down to just one. Listen, I can't, Felix, I can't. Ungema prepared me. Ungema prepared me for for where I am today. Mm. You understand? I started on stage. He prepared me, you know? If I, I, I didn't start on stage, maybe but Darrell, Darrell, because Darrell, it, it was a, a matter of being on big street, big screen. I was Ungema handed me over to Darrell. So that's why I'm saying I can't choose. I mean, Serafina Darrell yesterday, Darrell. Sonje, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't. I would accept. You're the only person, person ever I had to ask a question like this and accepted that, okay, that type of answer, I will accept. So it was a, a baton. Yes. Picked it up, yes. handed it over to the next one to yes. sprint. Yes. So from Wangeni to, to yes, yes, 100%. Yes. Such a pleasure having oh, you. Man. I respect those two men I respect ever. Oh, Ngema is our gem in South Africa. Yes. He will always be the legend. That's the legend. You stole my lines. I was, I was just about to say that about you, that you are a constant visitor in our living rooms and you are welcome in our homes and you have a special place in our hearts. We love you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, there you have it, uh, that Heart to Heart interview. It's going to be available on podcast, uh, so do check it out, www.gagaseworld.co.za, or you can just simply download our app. You will find it there.